Finally, spring is here, the grass is green, the flowers are growing, but that also means you've got a lot of watering to do. If you're like me, it's not one of your favorite things to do. We have a lot of mosquitoes out here. Uh, not to mention just doing it twice a day on some of the plants that need it. it just gets a little bit old. So today we're gonna look at how we can automate that entire system and not have to worry about it. First things first, we gotta do some planning. If you go into the hardware store with this idea in your head and you haven't planned it, you're gonna abandon the idea, you're gonna go back, you're gonna plan, and then you gotta go back to the hardware store. Just take the time to plan everything out. That way you have to make one trip, two at the worst. So let me show you what I did in order to prepare for this project. So this is everything I picked up at the store, and hopefully it is everything that I need. But first of all, before I got any of this stuff, what I did was something that you should do too, and draw out your landscaping and draw out what you need. And a good way to start planning is work from your uh, downspout, your water spout, and then just work forward. So our water spout would live over here if it were on paper and we'd have everything in front of it downstream of the water here. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to get water to all of our plants. Well, that means we need to hook a hose up to our downspout or our water spout. So what do we need to do that? Well, Rainbird sells this uh, nice adapter. It has a backflow preventer and also a filter, and it's also got a pressure regulator that will put all, everything at 25 PSI max. This is a must. You have to get this, especially the backflow preventer aspect of it. You don't want this water returning back into your uh, house water. Next in our line of thinking is the water tubes. You know, we got our half inch tube. This is gonna be the workhorse of the system. This is gonna get all of our water where it needs to go. And this quarter inch tubing is gonna distribute the water among the plants. Now, in order to distribute the water, uh, we need emitters. So it's best for you to think of your emitters in the way that is suitable to how your plants are planted. So for example, these window boxes right here, we're gonna have three to five emitters that live kind of in the back, and they are going to shoot 180 degrees um, you know, so a half circle basically. So it'll work really nice. They'll broadcast forward and water those window boxes for us nicely. This has four per pack and they just sink down. So these will work really well. But we also have to think about how these emitters are getting water. So they're gonna get water from these quarter inch tube. Well, this quarter inch tube, how's it gonna get water? Well, it gets water from the half inch tube. So we have to make a junction between the half inch tube to feed the quarter inch line. Now, how we do that is through these barbed couplings here. And what they do, so you can see they hook uh, the quarter inch line into the half inch tube right there. So we're gonna use these to bring water from the ground up to our window box, and then we're gonna attach uh, four to five of these emitters. And we're gonna use these T-fittings to connect all of that. So imagine the quarter inch wire going about four feet, and then every foot or foot and a half, we have a T fitting and that will branch off and we'll have an emitter on each one of those T fittings. Now, since we have our window boxes figured out, we can come over here to this junction and that's gonna come down and feed these plants, also hook over and feed this. So let's look and see how we're gonna And to end things, we need to terminate the line some, somehow. So found this, um, basically you, you attach this to the end of your hose. This has a stopper in it, so we can terminate the line at that point and you won't have water gushing out. And that's pretty much it. I know it sounds simple, but I spent a good hour at the hardware store kind of comparing and contrasting all options. And this is what I came up with. And I think this is the best. But one thing that you don't want to leave out is get the install tool. It's just gonna make your life a ton easier. So this was $5 and it's gonna be $5 well spent. And that's really it. Um, I know I say it, but it's, it's really not that simple. Honestly, planning everything out and thinking about it before going to the store is really what's gonna save you a lot of time and uh, kind of get you through the headache of piecing together a wide variety of different parts. Rainbird makes a ton of different emitters, a ton of different sprinklers. So you can potentially uh, get lost in thought on what should I do, but if you plan ahead, maybe go to the store once, 
take a picture of it with your phone, come back, look at your landscaping, figure out what you mid or what would work best for you, plan it out, then go back and buy everything. Well, maybe just buy one extra of everything, that way you won't have to go back to the store again. You know how that goes. Um, so that would be my recommendation, really is just planning this. And then putting it together, I really don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I'm gonna show you a little bit on how I did that, but not too terribly much. Really the, the work in this project is the planning and getting the correct parts the first time. So hopefully that's what we did here and hopefully that helps you. All right, so no more talking. Let's get this install underway. One thing I forgot to comment on was the timing box that uh, I purchased for the system. I've actually had this one for a while, but I used it on something else. Rainbird makes these as well. They're really nice. This one has two zones, so you could potentially hook up two different um, areas to be watered at different times. Uh, I highly recommend these. Uh, they look cheap, but they work, so enough said. Um, you also want to think about getting one of these distribution manifolds. These are really nice because you can still wash your car spray your kids or the raccoon that's in the garbage, whatever you need to do. Um, and that way your uh, irrigation system isn't completely dedicated to your water spout. And this is our finished product here. As you can see, we've got plenty of ground clearance for the hose and everything's nice and buttoned up. I made sure and used a good amount of uh, Teflon tape on this junction here and this one right here. Reason for that is we're always going to have pressure, uh, water pressure in this manifold, so we want to make sure that these two areas do not leak because this is going to be on 24 hours a day. So if we develop a leak in one of these, you're going to have a slow drip, you're going to get water down here, it's a waste, we don't want to do that. So let's test this thing and make sure it works before we hook up our hose. So on this particular one, I'm going to go down, we're going to turn the manual and turn it on. It says for five minutes, so we'll see. Yep, and there we go. Perfect. Let's shut it off. So it's off. And we might have a failed test here. Okay. <laughs> it made a ton of noise, but it did shut off. So, um... Yeah, I think this thing is okay, although uh, I might research that and make sure it is. I'm happy it shut off, so I guess that's all that matters. Let's just call this a success. Quick tip for attaching this, take it off of your timer because it is a little bit hard to fit on. But once you do have it on, we'll just spin it down and it forms a nice tight seal of your half inch tube. Okay, we've got our line buried. Well, this isn't buried. I just kind of ran it against the side of the house, which is all I'm going to do. You may choose to bury yours, but I'm going to keep mine above ground, at least to this point right here. You can see I put a 45 degree angle in here and then uh, ran it up against the house, buried it with rocks, and you can kind of see it coming out right here. And you can see the quarter inch tube right there, and that's leading up to our window boxes. You can also see the half inch tube kind of snaking around, reburied it there, and then ran it behind those bushes right there. So let's take a look at the quarter inch tube. So we come up right here. And I've actually got some attachments that will secure this uh, tube to the window boxes. So this won't be loose or anything like that. You can see we nicely got our emitter set up, and I'll do a quick explanation on how I built this right now. And real quickly, I wanted to show you how I've set up uh, the emitters for my window boxes. Basically, um, you get the length of the area that you need a water, you know, how many emitters you're gonna have, and take that total length and divide it by one more than your total number of emitters. So I have five, I only have four here right now, but I would do uh, 43 inches, that's total width, then divide that by six because okay, that's one more uh, than the actual emitters we have. That will give us proper spacing. In my case, it's a little over seven inches. Now, what I've done that's kind of helpful is just took some channel locks, put it here, and I had this massive C-clamp, but hey, it works, so we're using it. Anyway, that just gives a nice line, and you can just measure down and go. And basically, all this is are these connections right here, and you can see they just join the line, and then we're just splicing a small amount of tubing there that's uh, connecting to the actual emitter. 
So that's how it's going to go. And on the end, we're taking, to kind of cap it off, we're going to use this one, which just gives us a nice 45 degree angle. It'll also terminate the line right there. And that way we won't have to worry about capping or anything like that. So we come back, we have our joint, just this. Push the small tube on, just like that. And get our emitter. Push it on, like that. And there we go. That is a completed line. Now that the window boxes are taken care of, I decided to take the half inch line and actually run it behind these bushes right here and just 45 degree off right here and just buried it. Uh, right by our entryway here and this leads up to our nine point I'm sorry nine port manifold right here and this is the riser you'll need to simply screws into this junction right here then the manifold screws on top of it and I terminated the end with our stopper this is going to enable us to bring nine different uh, quarter inch lines to whatever kind of random uh, plants we have around here it'll also uh, enable us to get water right to this planter which we do Okay, I've got the water on, so let's take a look and see how this works. Looks like we got a little leak, so we'll need to patch that up. No big deal. Let's go down the line and see if this was a success. And check this out. Look how great that is. No more watering this, this window box. That is perfect. I love that. Let's go over here. Check the second window box further down the line. That one looks great too. Everything is getting nice and evenly watered. That is perfect. We come even farther down the line. This is looking great too, but I think I will add a couple more emitters on this because it's really only getting the middle. I'll need to get something around the edge here too. Okay, final thoughts. Very glad I did this. Admittedly went to the hardware store an extra time, so that's one trip for recon, two trips to, two trips to buy everything, and then three trips to buy the things that I ran out of. But hey, that happens. But honestly, I didn't take my own advice and I should have just bought more of what I needed. Um, this stuff's pretty inexpensive, so it's just smarter to err on the side of too much rather than too little. You'll save yourself a trip and you can continue working and not stop and have to go to the hardware store. But anyway, all that said and done, it's pretty cool. I really like the setup and I'm glad I don't have to worry about watering anymore. Uh, other than just kind of checking on it routinely, um, you know, it's just going to take care of itself. So that is great. Anyway, if this video helped you, please help me and hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way in making the channel successful. So thanks a lot.